After years of hard work, finally you graduate, postgraduate or finish your PhD to find out that there are less jobs in your sector or maybe even if the jobs are there, you don't have the relevant experience. Now at that point in time, you feel devastated, you feel like how to crack this and how to get in. Well, that's one school of thought. There is another school of thought, which I'm sure some of you will be interested who want to make a lot of money in the biotech sector. So if you are someone who has invested a lot of money and you want to recover that money, and of course earn a lot of money in the future from the biotech industry then this video is for you now to start with before i tell you anything i feel it's a ritual we should do please like and subscribe if you like this video and please do watch till the end first things first as soon as i say you just passed out and now you are like what should i do no company is ready to take me i would say there's one company which will be ready to take you and that will be your own company what if you start your own biotech company? I'm not here to tell you or show you fake dreams. I'm here to tell you that this is doable. Okay. Now tell me what was the age of Dr. Kiran Majumdar Shah when she started Biocon? Well, she was in early 20s. So with many entrepreneurs, including me, I started at the age of 19 right while i was still in my college so many of you who are just passing out or still studying and watching this video remember when you are still in college or you have just passed out is the best year of your life and you can start your biotech company and i will guide you if you want to start you can come down to bangalore you can come and meet me and recently actually one of uh, a phd scholar he is in his third third year of phd and he was doing research on bitter guard and he found out there is some anti-cancer property in bitter guard and also a property in bitter guard a particular component compound he isolated which can be used to reduce the impact of alzheimer's on brain so he got a patent done he got he applied for that he got a patent done and then he took his first flight and came to me and he said sir I have this, now tell me how to churn this out into a company. That may be because he had three years of research experience. But I would say you don't even need any research experience to start a biotech company. You can just team up with people like him. Coming to the fact that even if your business idea is stupid, let me tell you this. Even if your business idea is stupid, over a period of time, that will be the best idea. Okay, let me give you an example. 30 years ago, if, if I had told you that sit in the car of a stranger and go to an unknown destination, you will be like, what if he mugs me or robs me, right? But today you exactly do that thanks to technology and that's called Uber and Ola. The same way, if you are feeling that today growing a liver or a growing a heart or printing a particular organ or no matter whatever is your idea, it might sound stupid today, but 20 years down the line, it might be the best idea you ever got. And that's exactly what I'm here to tell you, that you need a roadmap to filter out what is the best idea, which idea you should pursue. And you do have a lot of bandwidth to fail right now because you are young. Once you are in your 40s or 50s, you really don't want to, even though it is possible, but you really don't want to experiment with your career. At the early age, even if you fail, you can always go back and take up a job. There's no harm. You can just say that I tried something I was, uh, and I failed and so I am here to take up a job. So you can always do that. But imagine if you start a biotech company which can earn billions of dollars. And I am encouraging you to do that because I have a vested interest. All my subscribers of Biotechnica will get a job. More jobs will be generated if you start a biotech company. Now I'll give you the roadmap to how to do that. Now the first will be identifying your idea, the niche and the market requirement. And once you have done that, you can come to me, discuss with me if this idea is viable. If the idea seems viable, I will definitely tell you or you can drop me a mail also. My email ID is shekhar at biotechnica.org. That's the first step. Identify the idea and get it vetted whether this idea will work or not. And spend some money, come down to Bangalore, come and meet me face to face for an hour and let's sit and understand whether your idea has got potential or not. And if there is potential, I'll guide you throughout how to get the maximum out of your business idea. And remember, Biotechnica is connected with various other incubators and various other companies, so we can help you get started with your company. Now, the second thing is gaining scientific and business expertise, right? To gain business expertise, of course, you need to talk to more of business people like me and many other people, but to gain the scientific expertise also, you can always partner with someone who has already done a PhD on that and maybe you can make him a business partner or a chief scientific officer. So you have to find someone 
who would partner with you for whatever idea you have right now i am grooming a startup which is working on artificial meat i'm grooming a startup which is working on the bitter gourd idea which i told you i'm grooming an i um, a startup which is working on marine biology i'm grooming a startup which is working on anti cancer using you know various uh, plant compounds so these are various companies i'm grooming right now and i can groom you as well and your company if you make a start so now that you have gained the scientific expertise as a step 2 and the business expertise which obviously our ecosystem in ibio and biotechnica will give you the third will be securing funding and building a network now i'll give you a simple example you will not believe me indian company one week from today is going to announce that they have acquired a switzerland based company okay probably uh, by the time you are watching this video that would have already happened and the, all the information will come on by a technic also but imagine how a indian biotech company went ahead and acquired a swiss company it's a huge thing right because they were able to secure funding and they have a huge network of investors and that's how they could do it so you should also do it and we can help you do that so you have to secure the funding whether it is vc funding whether it is private equity whether it is um, debt equity whatever it is you can build a strong network and get funded by the investors and then you can develop your product and then you can hire employees who will further scale it right so the next step after securing funding will be developing your minimum viable product and that is called as mvp so mvp is like okay it's a dummy product it will show the investor this is how exactly it will work and once they believe in the idea they invest in this minimum viable product and this prototype will help you gain more funding in the future and also get uh, funded by byrac now you should know byrac uh, is one of the biggest funding agency in india right now for biotechnology and they fund you up to 10 to 20 crores or 50 crores also so why not take advantage of byrac and various other vcs in bangalore and get funded now the next step will be navigating the regulatory and compliance pathways and launching the product so you need somebody who will tell you what kind of certifications you need from the government what kind of approvals you need from the government because it's a biotech product and what kind of regulatory requirements are there which you need to follow to get that and we have all the contacts here in biotechnica we can guide you there so you have to learn the regulation you have to secure the approvals from the government and then plan your product launch and when you are doing the product launch of course the best platform to do that will be biotechnica so that everybody knows that you are launching this and of course i can introduce you to our various trustees and various um uh, members in the ibiom community who will also help you so that is where you start as a graduate or a post graduate with zero experience and you can roll out a big company in the future in the next 10 years but for that to happen you got to start so pick that idea whichever you feel is the best idea you can start a company with drop me a email shekhar at biotechnica.org and once you have sent me a mail i'll see if the idea has power i'll definitely reply if i am not able to reply okay not a problem take take you the first flight or train to bangalore come and meet me you already you can google biotechnica on google maps you'll know, know the address come and meet me let's sit and understand whether your idea has power and if the idea has power we will arrange everything for you all you have to do is get started and remember young age is the best age to start a biotech company because generally biotech company takes 10 years 15 years to come to the peak right so by the time you will touch 35 years of age your company will be at its peak and you will have a ultimate stream of income unlimited stream of income for not just for you for your employees and for the biotech sector so what are you thinking biotech sector is here to grow there are a lot of problems in the society which can be solved through biotechnology and life sciences and i'm super excited to meet you and understand your idea and see how can i help so go ahead reach out to me and if you have any questions of course down in the comment section and i'll see you soon in the next one till then keep shining take care bye bye